Hello everyone, welcome to Trail Tracker and welcome to day three of the great Ticino mountain biking adventure. Feeling a bit lazy today, we did quite a lot of climbing on the last two days so we've taken the bus up. We're in San Antonio and the plan is to ride from here back down to Giubiasco bottom of the valley. We've got rid of some of the others, um, just left with the dream team, myself, Sabrina and Rob. Rob's taking care of navigation, should be a good time. Before we get to the downhill though, we've got a super tricky traverse to start with. Very narrow, exposed and full of roots and rocks. Ooh. So recently I've been getting quite a few comments from people asking for whoa i'm not riding that that's crazy asking for gps tracks and i hold my hand up i've not been doing the best job recently of recording my rides um, it's not because i don't want to share these tracks with you it really is because i just forget to actually start recording but I've decided that I'm gonna make an extra special effort to start doing that so more people can see where I've been. Ooh. And where I've been pushing rather than riding. Even on the e-bike, this one will be a struggle because it's just bits you cannot ride. Unless of course you're Danny McCaskill. I'm sure he'd manage. Oh. So, if you're gonna follow this GPS track, just bear in mind, there's going to be some hiker biking involved. Hiker bike challenge completed. And look at the view. That is stunning. So it wasn't the end of the hiker bike. We've actually got even more to go. But we're going to have a little break. So that's the perfect opportunity to show off my shiny new riding shoes. Yeah, I've ridden 510s for years now, but this time I thought I'd try something a little bit different, so I bought myself a pair of Ride Concepts. So far they're pretty good, they've got some good grip on the bottom, which is uh, pretty good for this hiker bike. But whether they're worth it in the long run, only time will tell. Bloody tiring that climb. Okay, so hopefully that is all the climbing done. Oh, water. All right, minor interruption from Mrs. Trail Tracker. Let's go and find where the others are. Oh, I love that pick your own adventure special. Oh, beautiful. It's amazing. Goes from super jaggedy rocks to massively flowy all in the blink of an eye I mean you might be forgiven for thinking that we're actually here in autumn because of all the leaves on the ground but it is March uh, spring has arrived and these are the fallen leaves from last year okay one trail down and time for a short road traverse to the next trail so this one is a complete experiment. Nobody's been here before. Which is why we've already had to turn around because we don't know where we're going. So hopefully we're on the right trail now. While it was certainly the trail we'd been looking for, whether or not it was the right trail is a completely different question. Initially, it was looking like our gamble had paid off. Unfortunately though, before long, we were starting to struggle. Okay, so we said it was gonna be an experiment. Super tech and difficult. Oh, at some point in time, we must come across a piece of trail that's more or less rideable. It's just, with the leaves, you have no idea whether well, it's just a massive hole waiting to swallow your front wheel. Like that! Maybe not the best trail to have taken. Oh well. You live and learn.
it's a proper mountain biking adventure so there's every chance that this whole gps route is not the best to follow but certainly part of it's been very good just that section from i think it was monte ravecchia from the uh, restaurant there that was not particularly rideable hopefully though we're gonna hook back onto a trail that rob's ridden before that he knows is fun oh it's just yeah yeah now that's more like it chino impresses once again with some fine natural flow This is a trail you could definitely ride a lot faster with a sight in that first. <laughs> Those little dogs are hilarious. I couldn't think of anything that sounds less intimidating. Oh. One thing's for sure, that little dog was nowhere near as intimidating as coming up blind on this drop come roll in the middle of the trail. This is my idea of a beautiful trail. Not too easy, not too difficult. And beautiful still a few bits and bobs to provide enough of a challenge so we managed to find a couple of locals maybe if we're lucky they'll show us the good lines down or maybe we might just lose them or maybe not because no sooner had they overtaken us than they pulled over and let us go ahead again. Oh, it's pretty cool. I was a little concerned that the locals might have known something we didn't, but it didn't seem to matter because we were having plenty of fun all on our own. So nice ride behind Rob. He has this really comfortable pace and I'm convinced he's got more balls than I have when it comes to just rolling over steep stuff, which really helps me. Full of surprises this trail. And one major disappointment. Because unfortunately, we've already reached the end. So, that's it for today's adventure. First trail was good. Second trail, a bit of a washout. Last trail though was amazing. Anyway, as always, thanks for coming along. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.